Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I have an original tag for you. Yes, yes, I made a thing. This tag came to be when Heather over at Bookables tweeted and was like, does anybody know of a Valentine's Day tag I could do? And I've always had this idea, you know, I could totally do tags. I don't know what I'd do them about, but I could totally do one. And so when she tweeted that, I was like, huh, there aren't really any Valentine's Day ones. There are tons of Christmas ones, but not any Valentine's Day ones. And so then I started thinking, I was like, well, what would I do? if I were to make a Valentine's Day tag. And then this just kind of happened, and ideas were spewing out of my mind. And then there became the Mushy Gushy tag, which is my Valentine's Day tag. So yes, I called this the Mushy Gushy book tag because that's what I wanted to call it. And so that's what it's called. You're welcome. Question number one, Valentine's, a book with pink, red, and white on the cover. And you do not realize how hard this is. Now my goal, was to find one with mostly pink and red and white on the cover. But I don't own pink books, I have discovered. So I am going with I'd Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Ellie Carter. Because right here where it says love, it's got the pink and the red and the white. And it's perfect. It even says love. It's just not a majority of the book cover. So I kind of failed at my own question. But you know, it still works. It still works. Question two is Sweethearts book with the best pickup line because you know that we all love a good pickup line let's be honest and those little heart shaped candies have the be mine marry me call me whatever else they say they probably say text me nowadays i don't know and you can make little words with them personally i hate the way they taste so i don't actually like them but you know they're like little mini pickup lines and they go great with my answer for this question so and my answer for this question is book number 12 in the Christy Miller series, A Promise is Forever, by Robbins Joan Gunn. These books are really great. They're Christian, um, middle grade, contemporary books, I think is how I would describe them. And it's a 12 book series, and they're not nice short books, and they're just, they're really, really good. I read them over and over when I was a kid. I read them like, oh, five times over, which is saying something, because I don't normally reread books, but those, were amazing and in the last book a proposal happens because they take you from I want to say ninth grade up until college it's somewhere around that area anyway but a proposal happens in the very last book with the little sweetheart candies and that's what made me think to do this question and so that's my answer for the question now, I can't really tell you who proposed to who but you can probably figure it out but you know somebody proposes using little sweetheart candies and it's adorable oh my gosh it's adorable i haven't read those books in forever and i still fangirl over that because that is just so freaking cute question number three is chocolate covered strawberries your favorite book couple because chocolate covered strawberries are my favorite valentine's day treat and if you have been on my channel for a while or know me at all then this will not surprise you not in the least and because my answer is persebeth from The Lightning Thief, or from, you know, the whole series in general, because it's Persebeth, and I love them. A lot. They're my favorite. Question number four is Rose's most romantic couple. Because let's face it, just because they're your favorite doesn't necessarily mean that they're very romantic. I mean, I'm being honest here. The answer for me is America and Maxim from the Selection series, because, I mean, Prince that just screams romance and there are some really 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 cute scenes in here and they're just very romantic and i love it and you should read this series if you haven't yet because it's good it's good question number five is teddy bear a book that makes you want to snuggle and cuddle with somebody and that book for me would be my true love gave to me edited by stephanie perkins short stories from a whole bunch of authors and it's a really good Christmas book and it just makes you want to snuggle whether it be with your dog or your cat or your lover doesn't matter you want to snuggle because this book is just so cute and gives you Christmas feels and it's good it's really good number six is candlelight dinner a book that you would take out on a date and that book for me would be Pat of Silverbush by Ellen Montgomery or any Ellen Montgomery book with these covers because these covers are so freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. But yes, this book is so beautiful that I would definitely take it on a date with me. 
definitely. And probably my favorite question, the last question, question seven is pizza. A book for the single person. But see, here's the thing, it depends on what kind of a single person you are, because if you are a single person who is perfectly fine with being single, then you will literally read whatever. So I could suggest anything on my bookshelf and it'd be perfect for you because you don't care. You will know you will find your somebody. You're good. You're good. You're fine. But if you are one of those single people who is like, oh, I'm single, then I have a book for you. If you are the kind of single person who wants to read a tragic love story where the love story doesn't work out, because if you are single, then everybody else should be single too because you are that kind of person, then you need to read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley because... This'll match your soul, I'm telling you. If you are the kind of single person who maybe just broke up and you don't want to read a book that has anything to do with love whatsoever, then you should read Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. This book is about a kid who goes deaf when the phone he's using gets struck by lightning and he runs away from home to try and find his father because his mother is dead and he wants to find his dad. And there has nothing to do with, like, you know, boy-girl love. There's a lot to do with family love, though. And that is what you need when you're going through a breakup. You need to be with your family and your friends. So you should read this book. You should read it anyway, because it's a really good book. And it's Brian Snellsick's books have the um, pictures in it. I gotta find one. So you words like this, and so you're constantly turning the pages because you're going through, and it's like comic and story combined, and they're really good and really cool, and you should read it. And if you're the kind of single person who just, you know, you're perfectly happy with being single, you don't care, then you should read Laughingstock, A Cow's Guide to Life by Gibbs Smith. This book is just full of little bits of wisdom from a cow's point of view. It's pretty funny. I'm going to try to find you my favorite. Let's see. This is the reason I bought the book. Overweight cows should rest against objects in a standing position. This will make them lean. You get it? You get it? lean oh my gosh i'm so bad my friends have told me that i have the sense of humor of a 50 year old father and it's true so that is my mushy gushy book tag i hope y'all enjoyed it the people i tag are down below so you should go check that out and see if i tagged you because i might have you never know i probably did you should see you should go look and if i did not tag you but you want to do this tag anyway go go do it go do it because you know spread the love it's valentine's day after all guys i mean come on so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see y'all again with another one soon